So it's New Year's Eve and I got out of work early so I get to go for a nice ride. Figured today we'd talk about uh, a little quick a little quick note about some haters that I thought were kind of funny on the last video I posted. The uh, Christmas Eve video. And going to talk a little bit about what's coming up for the new year. So it seemed like a lot of people really enjoyed the uh, Christmas Eve video, handing out the flowers. and But uh, there were a few people that it really seemed to irk. A few people that just didn't like it for whatever reason. I just think they're grumpy people. Typical YouTube stuff. But I had a couple people that made some funny comments thinking that they were internet badasses but it is what it is that comes with the territory you can't put stuff up on YouTube without getting people that think that they need to crap all over anything anyone does the nice part is I really don't give a shit but so that's that like I said the majority of people seem to really enjoy it it's my most watched video yet which is awesome I've got a whole bunch of new subscribers, which is cool. I think I'm up to like 418 or 420 now, which is crazy. So I hope everyone had a good Christmas. Looking forward to the new year. So the big things, big things I'm planning on doing for the new year with regards to this vlog is I really want to step up my video editing game. Definitely want to kind of push boundaries with that, push myself with that, make sure I can learn some new stuff. You know, I use um, Adobe Premiere Pro. It's what I'm comfortable with. You know, some people use Vegas and some people use some other programs, but I like Premiere Pro. I've always been kind of an Adobe person, though. I do use Photoshop and uh, Camera Raw for my photography, so and I've been using Photoshop forever. Premiere I've been using for a while. Um, but this project, this vlogging is really kind of really pushing me to learn a lot of new stuff in Premiere, a lot of stuff that I didn't know. So that's been really exciting. And it's amazing. There's so many good YouTubers out there with some awesome videos showing you how to do stuff from Premiere, which is great. The first, uh, the first example of that is going to be the channel promo video I have to stop talking like that's my other that's my other uh, vlogging resolution is to stop talking like William Shatner I tend to pause and talk and pause and talk and pause and talk while I'm writing so constant streams less pauses it also will make my editing a hell of a lot easier so the first uh, the first showcase of some new hopefully first showcase of some new editing and some some kind of pushing the boundaries with the video pushing my boundaries, not uh, not video editing boundaries. It'll be a long time before I do anything exceptional in that regard. I am not a I am not an editor or a filmographer by trade. But uh, the first showcase of that will hopefully be the channel video, the channel intro video, which, you know, I've been collecting lots of video here and there for it. But I think a mistake I made is I haven't laid out a whole plan. Um, it'd probably be a good idea to storyboard it, you know, do it upright storyboard what I want the intro video to be and then make it happen so I've been working on that a little bit and hopefully hopefully we'll put up something really cool for that music is always tough too I mean it's an intro video so it's not just gonna be me yapping over it and uh, I don't know how many of you guys have looked for music it's very hard to find exactly what you have or what you hear in your head for the video the other big things I'd like to do I want to bring more of my photography in to my vlog. Oh, quick note before I forget to mention it is that uh, I got a new windshield for Christmas for my bike. My dad was cool enough to, uh, my dad and my stepmom were cool enough to get me a nice zero gravity touring windshield. It makes a huge difference. A lot less wind on me. And all I have to do is pop down just a little bit and I don't get any wind. And it's fantastic. 
and it smokes so I can see the road through it. Not that I look down in front of my bike, but I'm definitely happy about that. It's much appreciated. So like I was saying, my other project for the new year that I want to bring into this channel is uh, I'd like to bring more of my photography in. I, I do a lot of photography. I actually have my own little hobby business. I'm sure I've mentioned it before. Um, but I want to make a unified website for my photography and for my blogging and just kind of have one little place, one landing page. So I'm not sure how I want to do that or what URL I'm going to go with. Um, I haven't completely decided yet. I've got a bunch of uh, addresses that I already own, but I don't know if it's, I don't know if I want to direct all traffic to those or not. Uh, my photography is under my name. And I guess in the general scheme of things, that doesn't really matter. There's lots of vloggers out there whose names are well known. It doesn't really seem to be an issue. Um, I still hesitate because I'm old school internet and privacy and, and anonymity was beaten into me. I don't think it's really as much of a concern and I think being anonymous on the internet these days is a myth to begin with. So I also want to do some uh, I also want to do some tutorials on some non-motorcycle related stuff. You know, there's a lot of different things I work on that might seem interesting to people, so I kind of want to share some of that. I think one of them I'm going to do is a Litecoin mining tutorial. A lot of people are shifting off of Bitcoin, shifting over to Litecoin. Uh, it's a good time to get in on it. It would have been a great time to get on it about six months ago. But, uh, you know, if you've got the hardware, if you're really lucky, you live someplace where electricity is included in your rent, which, you know, then you're golden. But, you know, if you've got some good hardware and you're not really worried about, you know, getting rich from doing it, you just want to do it for fun. And if you make some Litecoin, you make some Litecoin. And if it turns out to be worth some money in the future, then, hey, who's going to complain about that? So I was going to do a tutorial, just a quick, simple little tutorial on that. I'm probably going to do it from the bike. I don't want to sit in front of a computer screen and do it. So we'll have secondary video running and links you can follow. And I'll put up files so you can pull down configuration files and make your life easy. But, uh, yeah. Besides the vlog, besides motorcycle-related stuff, what's going to come? What else is coming up personally in the new year? I have absolutely no idea. I mean, I really really have no idea what I'm going to be doing. Um, in a way, it's kind of terrifying. In a way, it's kind of exciting. One of the farms must take this route because I was seeing a bunch of stuff on the side of the road trying to figure out what it was, and it turns out it's big pieces of raw cotton. How cool is that? See? Raw cotton. Raw cotton. It's not something you see too often. At least it's not something that I see too often. So I think that's it, everyone. Just a little update. And everybody have a good new year. 